Hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So we're up at the new property today. We brought a load of uh, household stuff. So we're gonna put it up here. Uh, we got some storage space, so we're gonna put it up. But today, we're gonna do a little bit of recon and figure out where we're gonna put our first set of pigs. We got one, two, we got three different groups of pigs um, at the other farm that need to come up. So we're gonna do a little bit of work today, just kind of look around, look at our fencing options, look at our water options, and figure out where that first group of pigs is gonna go. Um, Sonner and I have talked, this is gonna be a little bit of an adventure because we feel like while we, you know, we got the principles down of raising animals, we're gonna to have to learn to farm all over again on a brand new piece of ground. So hang out with us for a little bit. We're gonna unload a bunch of stuff, um, put it in some storage, and uh, then we're gonna do a little walk around. We'll show you some of the fields. We're gonna look at some of the fencing that we've got in place. Look at and think about and talk about some temporary fencing that we'll need to set up some pig paddocks, what we're gonna do with water, how we're gonna solve that problem, and uh, figure out how to actually get started right here on this new farm. So hang out with us for a little bit. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is this is a load and a load. This is a load of boxes that was, a lot of this was in one of our upstairs bedrooms. And this is stuff that we had packed from our previous house before we moved to the farm in Greensboro. So a lot of this probably could go to Goodwill or donated yard sale, marketplace, or just trash dump. But uh, we're gonna unload this, get all this stuff off here. Got some more on the truck. I'm gonna get all that off. And we've got a small storage building up here that uh, the current owners have cleared out. So we're gonna make use of that. We're gonna put a lot of this over there. Um, there's some ditching and stuff. So we got a couple pieces of plywood and put them down. So we'll just wheel everything over there. On the way down, or on the way up here today, stopped at Northern Tool and bought this handy dandy little hand truck that converts into a little dolly. So we're gonna put that into use because we're gonna try to save a few steps and not carry all those individual boxes from there to there. Boy, it's lazy, ain't it? But anyway, it's hot. We came up here today, it's supposed to, we looked at the weather, it's supposed to be 10 degrees cooler here. I don't think it's a bit, I don't think it's a single degree cooler here. It's hotter than NOM, so. Let's get all this stuff unloaded in the building and we're gonna go look at some uh, look at some pasture look at some fields check out some fence and decide where we're gonna put some pigs That's the one that I watched all the way down the roof. That one is? Yeah. This one and that one right there. This one right here. Yes. 
Okay, so for pigs, our first consideration is going to be water. We got to make sure we can get water to the pigs. And as y'all know, at our current farm in Greensboro, we've got about 600 miles of garden hose stretched. So not afraid to pull some water hose. With that in mind, I have a water point right here. This is a yard hydrant in ground. And then there's also another yard hydrant inside the building back towards the back wall near where the uh, spring box is. So this is probably gonna be where we're gonna pull our water from is gonna be either here or in the building. Not, not a big deal. We're just gonna have to run some water hose to start with. Now, we're gonna develop over time. We'll be developing our water system and how we can get water to different points on the farm for where we need it for different animals. Of course, we're gonna have you know, meat chickens. We've, we're kind of speculating right now that the meat chickens are gonna be down here in the front field in front of the house. Um, that's where we're gonna be running the turkeys at. There's a well on the property. Um, got the electrician coming. We're going to put power to the well. The well doesn't have power to it, so we're going to make sure that that's, you know, a function water source. So that's another water source. The well is, I don't know if y'all can see the big, um, tall structure over there. The well is kind of down to the right behind it. So that'll give us water kind of over on that side of the property as well as on this side of the property. Now we still have behind these trees here there's still fields up there that we'll be <clears throat> utilizing later on probably for cattle ruminants of some type so again water's just going to be developed here there's you know we've got we've got plenty of water we've got good water points we've just got to figure out how to distribute it across the majority of the property so with water being there we're thinking that this field right here may be a good place to start with the pigs a couple of really nice features on this field here number one close to the house fairly accessible to water we've got a gate here so we potentially could just back the livestock trailer right to here to the gate open the gate up just walk the pigs in close the gate and this field has electric fence so this is four strand electric we can that'll that'll serve great for a for a perimeter height is about right on that bottom strand for the pigs that'll be perfect and then we can pull dividers across four different paddocks we can just pull it off of this already energized we won't even have to have another energizer so we're thinking right out of the gate this may be a uh, good place to start the pigs with what do you think yeah this may be a good place to start with big field this uh the last thing that this had on had some cattle on it, I think, um, right before right before we uh, signed the contract on this, there was some cattle on there. The only issue here is there's not a lot of shelter, not a lot of shade. There's this one tree, um, maybe it's a tulip poplar, uh, one tree there, so that would be an area where that we could get some, where they could get in and get some shade. Um, plenty of forage here, assuming they're going to scratch around root around and do all that kind of thing another thing that we got to keep in mind on this is we certainly don't want the pigs to tear this up to the point that we get erosion we get big wallas holes and that kind of thing because this will eventually you know we'll come back and graze this so we're going to have to be very very conscious on those quick moves for the pigs hit it move to the next spot hit it move to the next spot Another nice feature about this field, as we move towards the top, we've got a wood line up there. We've got some uh, some hardwoods up there so we can put them in that. That'll be plenty of cover, plenty of shade. And then if they get in there, and there's a little silvo pasture up there. That's been developed kind of nice over the years. So if we put the pigs up there, they can go in there and have some shelter. And hopefully, I don't know what all is up there, but there may be some mast up there, some hickory or some oak or something that's got some mast falling and they can get some protein source off of that. So that's a possibility. Coming on over across the field a little bit. Again, this is four strand electric. Need to clean a little bit, no big deal. That's easy done. They make weed eater string every day. 
got some more cover right here on the right hand side this would be a good spot and you know this you know Sonner, we could cordon this off into a couple of different packs for a couple of different groups yeah, couldn't we so yeah we could have a set on the left side and a set over here on the right side and give them you know the set over here give them this wooded area so that's another option an additional nice feature about this this is a great field the more i'm looking at it got some gates over here i think the electric probably is going to end yeah the electric's going to end right here at this corner post got the buckies out here scoping it out so and got another gate here we can open the gate up let some pigs in so we've got another access point here to bring the pigs in we just need to get back here and explore a little bit back on this right hand side we may need to pull some additional wire but great this would be a great place for the pigs right here this would be a fantastic spot so yeah we're gonna go we're gonna go over here and look at another area in a second so two good spots here for pigs i think that will uh this, this is a good place to get started don't you think this would be a real good place to get started yeah honeybees bumblebees Oh yeah, this would be a great place for pigs. Yeah, these fields are connected. These fields are connected, yeah. So these fields are connected. The field that we just walked across is right back here, and we just walked across down there and came up the side of it looks like an old silage pit or something. Need to clean around that, but it's connected to over here. So we've got another field here that would make a great area for pigs. Wooded area up here. Um, there's no water. In the there's no water. There's an old bathtub. I wonder if they've got a had a water line to here or something. There's a spring or something over here. Yep. I thought I heard it flowing. Maybe not. I need to get in there and clean. So it's another big field. You know, put cattle. We put cattle in here. We can cord them off into different areas. We got some gates right here. And then this is a handling facility that uh, has been used to load cattle, feed cattle, sort cattle, that kind of thing. And the chute, the loading chute, what? goes off to the right, right over here in these weeds. Oh, that light's terrible. Loading chute goes off to the right over there. Another area where we could, you know, certainly back the trailer up and load the pigs, let them come through here, let them come back into the feed barn here and then back out into the uh, field or whenever we're ready to move you know load out to go to processing another good area to maybe bring them into here open the gate up get them in here and then we can use this as a loading facility already been bringing some of our stuff up so but uh yeah this is another field so i think we're i'm feeling a little bit better about our options on where we can Put the pigs right out of the chute right out of the gate get them up here and get them started um, again we're just going to have to be real conscious about not sitting in one spot for a long time so that we don't end up creating a moonscape and getting erosion big wallows and that sort of thing so yes yeah, a good field right here another big area you know plenty of space up here to graze run the pigs, whatever we want to do, farrow on pasture. This place has just got so many options. And like I said at the beginning, you know, we kind of know what our land is like, what our land does, what the, how the property lays, best way to move animals on the farm that we're on now. This is going to be an entirely new learning experience for us. We've not been here. We've not had any animals here. We're not 
intimately familiar with the lay of the land and how things sit so it's just going to take some time to figure that out and as you can tell by my somewhat labored breathing it's also going to take some time to get my fat butt back in shape so but yeah good spots i think we're going to have plenty of space here for pigs challenge going to be getting the water over here um of course like i say we're not afraid to pull a couple hundred feet of garden hose we've certainly done that in the past and from where we're standing kind of right over there we've got another well just got to get power on that so we can pull water off of it that may be a good source for this side of the farm and then use the spring over on the other side where those two yard hydrants are at tap in somewhere there to uh, water on that side so something to keep in mind whenever you're buying property thinking about property you're moving on to a new property is how are you going to get your water distributed because your animals are going to have plenty of water it's okay for them to walk you know don't whenever you're first buying a piece of property you're first starting out don't go in and set up you know five six ten however many permanent watering stations because you don't know where they need to be like right now i have no idea where permanent watering stations would need to be i don't know where permanent connections would need to be so for the first couple of years i really envision us spending a lot of time um moving things around and figuring out where those watering spots where those those connections are going to be so got some ideas on how we're going to do some temporary water infrastructure um, we'll do some videos on that we're going to use some black plastic pipes some plastic quick couplers um going to dig into that world and use some of that and get away from as much water hose as what we've done in the past so another shed right here great place maybe for feed or storage of hay uh, previous owner kept their spreader truck in here dried in fairly new structure this this upper piece is i think the lower that lower third down there may be a little older but uh, this is in good shape old barn here this is probably one of the more original structures to the property looks like it's uh definitely seen its better days so this may uh, be remedied with a track hoe or something maybe some good lumber in here maybe some usable stuff all right Sandra's going through a gate opening the gate for buck and y'all y'all another thing the folks that we're buying this farm from they done things right i mean sometime we'll go we'll talk about some of the drainage that's been put in and the way that the drainage has been done on this property but for the most part everything that they've done here has been done absolutely right look at that corner post what is that is that an eight by eight that's a that's an eight by eight or a six by six uh, no it's probably six that's probably six i mean it's a big old post and then yeah i mean got a four by six cross brace I mean this is i bet that suckers is i bet it's as far in the ground as it is sticking out but uh yeah i mean it's been done right so there's some things that need a little need some mending fences always need mending trees fall across up there we've got some cedars growing up through it we're going to clean that stuff out cut that out stuff needs maintenance that's not what i'm talking about this has been done right i mean these posts are in right um i mean it's just set up perfect just set up absolutely really nice really nice clark So here's the well um, does not have power to it so we're going to be putting uh, we're going to be uh, pulling power to that and then this is again just adjacent to where the uh, processing building is just around the other side of those trees there we'll have some uh, water up there uh, for processing of course but then again that'll be another place to maybe pull off and run some black plastic pipe so that we can distribute some water on this side of the field so that right there is going to be another um, water point for us where we can uh, get water to these animals additionally we've got a nice creek running across the property and um, it's clean it's very clean 
And if we go on up the creek a bit, um, there's some nice deep holes up there where we can drop the pump. And, uh, you know, worst comes to worst, we can pump water out of the creek into some kind of storage containers if we need to. Don't know that I want to get into a whole lot of that, but if we need to, we can put some water in some storage containers. And, uh, yeah, even more water. If you're buying a piece of property to farm on, this is one of the most important things that you want to make sure that you've got buttoned up or you've got a way to button it up and that's water because without water your farm's not going to survive no matter what you're doing animals row crops not a big fan of row crops but animals crops gardens whatever you got to have water so we feel really fortunate here we got one good spring that feeds the house we got those yard hydrants we got a well we're gonna get that up and going and we've got a creek so lots of options here for uh making sure that the critters got something to drink look at this man this is beautiful jump in well i was just kidding but there you go <laughs> how's that feel <laughs> we're gonna need to dig us out a swimming hole not for us, but for you know, the nieces yeah. and nephews, the youngins, for the youngins. It's all for the, it's all for, the, it's all for the children. It's all for the children. The uh, another thing, current owner done for us is he has dug us out a ford. We're gonna uh, need to bring some washed stone in and kind of develop that a little bit. But good area there to get across the creek because this. Is about another 30 acres that we own, <laughs> and uh, I think this is going to be a I think this is going to be a good spot for some pigs, maybe some goats, who knows? And uh, this thing goes slam to the top of the mountain. And uh, hard to tell on video, hard to appreciate on video, but this is pretty steep over here. But would be a good spot for to run some pigs through these uh, through these hills and let them. Do a little rooting around. <laughs> so this is our first. This is my first time over here on this side of the creek. I know guy buys property and don't go look look at all of it. Yeah, whatever. But uh, got a road going out through here. The owner told us there was a road out through there, but it's in a little better shape than what I was anticipating. Man, I'm out of breath. In better shape than what I was anticipating. This side, not so much, but we can work on that. That'll be a fun little project. I told Sandra I hear those sirens off of the movie Old Brother Where Art Thou singing Go to Sleep Little Baby, whatever the name of that song is. Now where they turn Pete into a horny toad. I told y'all this used to be a dairy farm and this is one of the original buildings that was on it and I think yeah so this was a spring house and kind of hard to get in here and exactly tell what's going on but there's the spring box it's got a block laid block spring box in it so my great-grandparents um, up in the northwestern mountains of North Carolina a little more northwestern than where we are now on their farm they had a little house a little bigger than this but this is exactly what it looked like it had a block laid spring box in it overflow pipe coming out and that's where they kept their things cold milk you know things that needed to be refrigerated that was their that was their refrigeration so yeah Got this little old spring house here so one more project i feel i'm lining up so i know that uh 
you know, not everybody's in a position to be able to get out of town and get away from that city life. But, uh, you know, if you've got a chance, I'd recommend you do it. Get out away from all that foolishness, all this craziness that's going on in the world. Go find you a nice, quiet piece of land and set up your homestead or your farm and learn to be self-sufficient. Yeah, I know there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world. I'm not a doomsday guy or a prepper or none of that kind of stuff, but I really believe that the more self-sufficient that you can be now and going forward, the better it's going to be for yourself and your family. So whether you can secure, you know, a couple of acres off of a country road or, you know, a 200 acre farm out away from, I don't know that civilization is the best best word to use, but you know, get, get out and learn to be self-sufficient. Figure out how to take care of yourself, how to take care of your family, how to feed yourself. And if you're waiting on the chestnuts to fall, it's going to be a little while. He was rolling around in the dirt a few minutes ago. Buck, were you rolling in the dirt? Hey, I'm happy. <laughs> so, this turned out to be kind of a fun video. Um, Y'all got to go along with us and kind of discover some more about the property that we really didn't know. You know, the fields being connected, um, the spring house, the trails, you know, kind of the, the roads that are over there in the woods. So, you know, we'll do more of this. There's still a lot more to be found, discovered. We've only scratched the surface on what this property is and what this property can do and uh, we're excited to figure it out so but anyway keep us in your prayers and uh, if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video thanks you smiling? Yeah, smiling. <laughs>